Hey everybody. So um, I am venturing into DIY again. Uh, I tried many years ago when I was a, a ground dweller and I was sleeping, you know, in tents and I wanted to build a tarp. So I borrowed my mom's Bernina sewing machine and tried to make a tarp. Uh, Fell pretty miserably at it. Very impatient. Um, I tried to rush things. I uh, didn't really have a plan, just kind of eyeballing it and realized that's not the way to go. Um, but the thing is, a lot of my friends and family have started asking and being more interested in hammock camping uh, and just hammocks in general. So I figured, you know, I could keep buying them for them, but it's getting expensive. Um, plus, I thought it'd be kind of cool to have that personalized touch for gifts and whatnot. On that note, we're going to take a look at my birthday gift to myself. Ta-da! Alright. Alright, so uh, for my 30th birthday, um, I decided to go ahead and buy my own sewing machine so I didn't have to keep borrowing my mom's. And I figured I wanted one that would do everything I needed to, but more importantly, I didn't want it to look like a girly sewing machine. Um, so, and I keep saying sewing machine, I should be saying thread injector. Um, sounds more masculine. But anyway, I got the heavy duty one um, because it was gray mainly. Uh, I really don't know anything about sewing machines. Uh, kind of looked around on Craigslist, but none of the older ones were reasonably priced. So I picked this up brand new for about 150 bucks from Amazon. And, you know, I don't know. Might be good, might be bad. It's got a lot of good reviews, but the main thing is if it will help me and I can go at my own pace and make some gear. So. That being said, um, and also because it's my 30th birthday, I bought myself a bunch of other stuff that um, I wouldn't normally spend money on, but figured what the heck. So, um, besides my sewing machine, I went ahead and picked up a couple other things. So, what I got myself were a few of the um, Loop Alien UFAs made out of titanium. Uh, to make myself a continuous ridge line for my tarp. I already have one, but I just wanted to experiment with these, and they looked really functional and easier to adjust and use. So I'm pretty excited about those. And then David threw in one of the aluminum loop aliens as well. I was surprised to get that. So thank you, David. Um, big shout out to uh, Loop Alien and David. They got this stuff shipped really fast, um, and I'm you know glad to do business with. The them, I, I sent him an email and he replied back really quickly um, as well. So, really excited to have that gear to add to my gear closet. And then, another uh, new cottage vendor that just kind of came out. Um, I was referred to by Scuba on hammockhangers.net is Lightsmith. Um, www.lightsmith.com. Once again, that's going to be down here in the description but they have all kinds of um, cordage uh, which we're going to kind of go through and then they have um, some ultralight gear uh, which I'll show you so this is some 332 nd shot cord what's special about it though if you see the little black spots those are actually um, reflectors so this is reflective shot cord so uh, I plan to use this for um, my tie outs for my tarp uh, and maybe some zipper pulls or something like that. So, next thing I got was, and this is a, a just a piece of shock cord with a cord lock on it, so you can like strap things. I don't know, is uh, sense, you know. So I just threw that in. Um, what's more important though, and the reason that I got turned on to Lightsmith in the first place, is this right here. This is. Lightsmith's cat's eye reflective line. Um, this is the 2.8 millimeter or 764 uh, inches, and this is um, I don't want to say clone, uh, but it's similar, uh, maybe slightly better properties uh, than Amsteel. And um, what I, you know, really got it for was to experiment. But what's important is uh, this has reflective tracers in it as well. So I plan on using this on my hammock that I'm going to make for my continuous loops instead of amp stuff, just to try it out. Um, but, I mean, people are making whoopies out of them. You can buy the whoopies directly from lightsmith.com. Um, so that's really neat. 
but they also have it in the 1.8 millimeter, the 1 16th inch, and this is supposed to be more along the same lines as uh, Zing it. Um, and the thing is, I mean, you can splice both of these, uh, so I'm planning on using this with my loop alien to make my continuous ridge line. So we'll see how that goes. But I was really excited about that. And that's the whole reason I got turned on to Lightsmith. Um, these up. little doohickeys here. Um, this is a dual chamber fuel bottle. It holds eight ounces. Um, and this is the main chamber. And when you squeeze it, it pushes fuel up into the smaller chamber. And then it's got a flip top so you can pour. And that way you can measure um, the fuel you're using. And it has it in half ounce and quarter ounce measurements on the top. And then on the side here, it's got uh, the number of ounces up the side, uh, and it holds up to eight ounces on this bottle. I don't know if I'll use that, but I figured it was reasonably priced. All their stuff is really reasonably priced on their website. And once again, that's uh, www.lightsmith.com. And then one of the other neat things that I got that I um, don't know how much I'll use it, but I thought it was neat, was this. Looks like a piece of Tyvek really soft and so with this little straw you slide it into this little flap here and then a couple of puffs and you have yourself a pillow and you take the straw out and then it self seals um, and you can adjust it for the amount that you want. I mean, it's going to crinkle as you're moving around. But I thought it was neat. So I'm looking forward to giving it a try at least. And it doesn't weigh very much at all. Um, if you want specifics, go to Lightsmith's website. But to deflate it, you just stick the straw back in there. And squeeze it down. And it packs right up. What happens if you don't have a straw? Well, you can blow into the mouthpiece directly with your mouth, and then to deflate it, stick a stick, the long end of your fork, or a spoon, whatever you you know want that's long enough into that little chamber. Nothing sharp, obviously. Um, well, a stick sharp, well, you know. So is a straw if you poke hard enough. But this is pretty durable. I don't think it's gonna be punctured easily in the material um, <clears throat> so I don't know I thought it was neat and it was only like two dollars so um, pretty neat stuff from Lightsmith look forward to seeing more gear coming from them and uh, look forward looking forward to getting to try this gear as well so lightsmith.com next where I really splurged was on a package from Ripstop by the Roll uh, Kyle has amazingly fast shipping. Um, very impressed with how fast I got my package. I think I placed my order Friday morning at like 12 in the morning. <laughs> like I stayed up late Thursday night. Placed the order and I got it today, which is Monday. Um, so shipped over the weekend. Really fast. Really happy with the service. Um, so what all did I get? Well, start off with the DIY kit. Um, and it's 10 bucks, and for 10 bucks you get quite a bit of stuff. Uh, you get three cord locks, uh, some cordage, and some grow gain. Uh, I also got quite a bit of this heavy duty fabric. Um, I forget what denier this is, I want to say 200, um, but it's really, really hefty. Um, I also got some neon green poly D. Um, which you know I'll use to make stuff sacks or a pillow or something out of. Uh, then I also got some of the burnt orange robic uh, material. Looking forward to using that. Um, and then I got a piece of sil nylon as well, um, like a hunter green or forest green. So uh, for ten bucks, I got quite a bit of fabric. Um, being that I've never sewn really before, besides my one misadventure in tarp making. Uh, I'm really looking forward to cutting my teeth on this and making my mistakes on this versus the expensive stuff or more expensive stuff that I bought. So, yeah, uh, really good deal there for ten bucks. Uh, Ripstopbytheroll.com, and you can buy these. He does ask that you 
limit yourself to one per customer um, because it's a really good deal. So, um, and you know, I, I think it's a good deal. Uh, some people might not. If you don't need stuff sacks or you already know how to sew, not a great deal, but for me it's a good deal. Um, and it's a good deal in the fact that everything I bought from him for my first time out was a kit. So I didn't buy extra material to make stuff sacks, so I think it's great for that. And then um, plus I won't have as much wasted material because I didn't just buy X amount of material. Um, so the next thing I got from... Kyle is the netless hammock kit. So what all do you get in the netless hammock kit? Well, let's take a look. In this little package, you get a little mini carabiner. This is ripstop by the roll on it. Uh, cord lock, or two cord locks, and then some cinch buckles, which these cinch buckles are heavy duty. Um, they're heavy, which, you know, most people don't want heavy. I was surprised that they were this heavy. Um, they feel very durable. Uh, I have Dutch's titanium cinch hooks on one of my other hammocks, and I love them. But I think it's cool for like 22 bucks. Well, starting at 22 bucks, it depends on the material you choose. But for 22 bucks, you can get a hammock kit and start be on your way to DIY. So I thought that was cool. You also get uh, length of cordage for a draw sack or a stuff sack if you make one, and some. Uh, five feet of am still so you can make your continuous loops so you get everything you need minus your webbing for your suspension um, in the kit which I happen to buy some webbing seven bucks and 25 cents um, for 25 feet of one inch webbing uh, 1500 pound braking strength so uh, you know that's not bad seven bucks extra I I would have liked to have seen the webbing included I think that would have been neat and maybe enough cordage to make a ridge line um, which is what Dutch has at his make your gear website which is cool because that's like an all-inclusive kit but this is neat too so um, the fabric I got for my hammock is this right here you get four yards that's an upside down four but um, you get four yards of fabric and this is the uh, Robic XL in the olive drab so I uh, heard some good things about this fabric really wanted to try it and really excited um, but uh, kind of skipping around because I don't intend to do this project till after I've made my stuff sacks and then also one other project which I'll show you so um, I'm pretty excited about that um, So, the next project I want to show you that I got is the DIY pack cover kit. And with the DIY pack cover kit, you get two cord locks, you get some shock cord, and you get a fabric of your choice and color. And I got the blaze orange sill um, nylon because I wanted to uh, have blaze orange for hunting season. And then also, I want to make... Uh, this double use as a gear hammock on my ridgeline potentially um, that'll be later experiments but this is like what I intend to do after my stuff sacks make this um, that way I can make yet more mistakes but once again it's not a key piece of gear that I'm going to be really upset if I mess up on um, and there's you know you get one yard of fabric with this um, with this kit and it, I think I paid eight bucks because I went with silk nylon instead of silk poly uh, it's like ten bucks if you do silk poly um, but they didn't have the blaze orange in the silk poly so that's why I went with the silk nylon the one other thing that I'd like to say about uh, ripstop by the roll is if you buy fabric they throw in the thread for free um, just one per customer per order but I thought it was pretty neat because I got that one for free and paid for the black um, but you know who else does that? That's great customer service. That in itself will keep me coming back to buy fabric from them because you're always getting a little extra. It's like a little thank you for your loyalty. So, I mean, that's pretty awesome. So, uh, so the last thing I got myself um, to DIY. So we've got so far the um, pack cover, the DIY kit, the pack cover kit, and then the netless hammock kit. Um,
So, the three quarter length under quilt kit by Ripstop by the Roll with Climate Shield Apex. Um, in this little bag, there's some grow gain, different uh, widths, and then some shot cord. And then in the little bag inside, there's some cord locks and some mini beaners. Um, so you can attach it to your um, hammock. So, with that, um, for like 55 bucks, I don't even remember the price, but with that, you get to choose your fabrics, type, and color. And I went with these two. Um, it's uh, Olive Drab Poly D 1 ounce, um, or 1.0, and 1.0 um, Blaze Orange Poly D. Um, so I went with those two. Uh, the idea was to make it reversible for hunting season. So whenever I don't want to be seen, and I'm using like my stealth gear, stealth gear, um, I'll have the Olive Drab on the outside, and then I'll have my um, Warbonnet Mama Jamba with the digital camo and all that. Um, but whenever it's hunting season, you want to be seen, so I'll have this on the outside. So I don't know how that'll work. Um, shouldn't be too hard with the way the instructions say to make it um, inside out. It's not like it's differential cut or anything. One other thing I do want to point out, though, is difference in colors. So this is olive drab in the poly d this is olive drab in the robic fabric so you'll notice that this is darker um which for me is kind of a bonus i like that it doesn't all look the same um so you know you'll have some different color uh difference in color or variation in color um so i'm excited about that but just so you know if you're buying two different kinds of fabric um and you get the same color it's not exactly are necessarily going to match. But anyway, just want to give a big shout out to Ripstop by the Roll. Incredibly fast shipping, uh, free thread with fabric, and these kits are uh, made so you can do it yourself and without, you know, investing a lot, a lot more than you need. It kind of lays everything out that you'll need. So, really looking forward to that. So, one other thing that I nearly forgot. Um, with the three-quarter length underquilt kit that you get. This is your choice of fluffy Climate Shield. This is the 2.5 Apex. Um, I wanted a lighter weight quilt. So we're going to try and see how this does as far as packability and whatnot. I mean, see it's taking up quite a bit of space here, but it should be fairly decent. Um, anyway, looking forward to that. All right, well, here's my first project with my new sewing machine and uh, the DIY kit. Hit the stuff sack pretty terribly, but you know what? Um, it, it'll store stuff, and I guess that's all that matters. Um, got the experience sewing on the slick sill nylon. Probably the wrong material for my first project, but I didn't want to waste the stuff that I wanted the good stuff sacks to be. So, I don't know. It works. We'll see. I mean, if it tears up, it tears up. Oh, well. It was fun to uh, build. Last but not least, I'd like to make a special shout out to Ripstop by the Roll, who sponsored this video um, with super fast shipping. It was funded by my hard-earned dollars, but it was sponsored by the super fast shipping. Uh, also, a shout out to Loop Alien as well. So, yeah, thanks, Kyle at Ripstop by the Roll and David at Loop Alien.